हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल ग्रेड सिक्स चैप्टर नंबर वन नोइंग आर नंबर्स आई हैव मेड देयर सिक्सटीन वीडियोस ऑन द स्मॉल स्मॉल डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स सो प्लीज गो टू माय चैनल एंड यू कैन वॉच ऑल दिस सिक्सटीन सब टॉपिक्स सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ टूडेज टॉपिक माई टूडेज टॉपिक इज प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ होल नंबर्स सो एडिशन सब्टशन मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन फॉर द फोर प्रॉपर्टीज क्लोजर कम्यूटेटिव असोसिएटिव एंड आइडेंटिटी एलिमेंट एट द सेम टाइम डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी मल्टीप्लीकेशन ओवर एडिशन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन ओवर सब्ट्रैक्शन सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट आई हैव मेड वन चार्ट इन दिस चार्ट इजिली वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द four properties for addition and multiplication here i have taken some values this is your choice you can take any number but always taking smaller number is more easier for calculation so let us start with the closure property what is closure property if a is a whole number and b is a whole number then their sum is also a whole number this is known as closure property if we will talk about multiplication a is a whole number b is a whole number then the product is also a whole number so this property is known as closure property this sign it is read as a belongs to what does it mean a and b both are the whole number so in mathematical we in mathematical term we write a b belongs to whole numbers so let us start just substitute the value value of a i have taken 2 so 2 plus value of b is 3 so the sum is 5 and 5 is a whole number so 5 belongs to whole number it means yes we can observe closure property in addition of whole numbers now come for commutative property commutative property what does it mean if a and b are the two numbers if we change the order then also if your answer is same this is known as commutative property so value of a is 2 plus 3 just change the order 3 plus 2 find out this is 5 and this is also 5 we are getting both the sides equal it means yes we can observe commutative property in addition of whole number similarly we can say for associative associative we have three numbers now so one we will keep these two numbers in one bracket we will add the numbers with the third number and next time we will keep these two numbers in one bracket we will add these two and then we will add with this three if both the side answer is same then we can say that there is a associative property so just substitute the value value of a is 2 value of b is 3 and value of c is 4 is equal to value of a is 2 value of b plus value of c always first we solve the bracket so 3 plus 4 will give you 7 2 plus 7 will be 9 now come for the right hand side 3 plus 2 will be 5 plus 4 again 9 so here you can see that both the sides are equal so we can say that yes we can observe associative property in addition of whole numbers now come for the identity element what how to find out identity element if we can observe your commutative property as well as if we add zero in any of the number the num we get the number itself then this is known as identity element so here we can say that value of a is 2 plus 0 value of a is 2 and again 0 plus 2 so this will be 2 this is 2 and here also 2 so everywhere we are getting the same answer it means we can see the identity element in addition of whole number and which is the identity element 0 is the additive identity or 0 is the additive identity for whole numbers now come for multiplication same thing we will do with the multiplication so value of a is 2 multiplied by 3 this will give you 6 and 6 is also a whole number what does it mean yes we can observe closure property in multiplication of whole numbers now come for the another one so 2 multiply by 3 and this side 3 multiply by 2 let us let us find out the answer here also 6 here also 6 what does it mean we can observe commutative property in multiplication of whole numbers now come for associative property so 2 multiply by 3 into 4 is equal to 
2 multiply by 3 into 4. Again, first we will solve the bracket. So, 3 4s are 12 and 12 2s are 24. Come this side. 2 3s are 6 multiply by 4. Again, it will give you 24. What does it mean? Your left hand side and right hand side is same. So, we can say that yes, we can observe associative property for multiplication of whole numbers. Now come for the identity element. So once again here you can see that commutative property at the same time if we multiply by 1 we should get the same number then only we can say that there is an identity element. So let us try 2 multiply by 1 is equal to 2 is equal to 1 into 2. So we can see that everywhere we are getting 2. What does it mean? We can observe identity element in multiplication of whole number and which one is the identity element for multiplication 1 or at multiplicative identity is 1 for whole numbers. So we can say that addition and multiplication of whole numbers are closed for closure property, commutative property, associative property or identity element. What does it mean? We can observe closure property, commutative property, associative property and identity element in multiplication and addition of whole numbers. Now the same thing we will do with subtraction and division. So uh, start doing the sum. So value of A is 2 minus 3. So, this will be equal to minus 1 that you will study in the next chapter, not next chapter, 6 chapter integers, but minus 1 does not belongs to whole number. This sign is for does not belongs to. What does it mean? You know, we cannot observe closure property in subtraction of whole numbers. So, now come for commutative property. So, value of A is 2 minus 3 and this side 3 minus 2. This answer is minus 1 and this answer is 1. So, these two are not equal. It means, no, we cannot observe commutative property in subtraction of whole numbers. Now, we can use our logic if this is not possible for two numbers, definitely this is not possible for three numbers. So, no, we cannot observe associative property in subtraction of whole number. This is your job. Just substitute the values and find out left hand side and right hand side is equal or not. Just try this by your own. Now, come for the identity element. So, value of A is 2 minus 0 then this is equal to 2 and this should be equal to 0 minus 2. Let us see are we getting or not. So this is 2, this is 2 and this is minus 2. So this is not equal. What does it mean? All the three answers are not equal. It means you cannot observe identity element for subtraction of whole numbers. Now same thing we will do with the division. Value of A is 2 divided by 3. How can we write down this? In the form of fraction 2 upon 3, these two numbers are not divisible and this fraction numbers are not there in whole number. So, we will not get a whole number. So, we can say that no, we cannot observe closure property in division of whole numbers. And very, very important thing, here your denominator should not be 0. We cannot divide by 0. So, B should not be equal to 0 because any number we cannot divide by 0. So, now come for commutative property. So, 2 divided by 3 and this side 3 divided by 2. So, here will be 2 by 3 and this is 3 by 2. So, again these two are not equal. So, we cannot observe commutative property in division of whole numbers. So, with logic we can say that if for two numbers it is not possible. So, definitely for three numbers also this is not possible. Again, this is your work. Just substitute the values and try to find out are you getting left hand side and right hand side equal or not. So, here also we can say that no, we cannot observe associative property in division of whole numbers. Now, come for the last one identity element. So, uh, value of A is 2 divided by 1. 
then value of a is 2 and this is 1 divided by 2. So this will be 2, this is 2 but this is 1 by 2. So all the 3 are not equal. So what does it mean? No, we cannot observe identity element in division of whole numbers. So we can say that subtraction and uh, division does not hold any property any property means closure property, commutative property, associative property and identity element for whole numbers. Grade 6, we are doing these four properties for whole numbers and then grade 6 you will do for, in, grade 7 you will do for integers and grade 8 you will do for rational numbers. The basic concept is same for all the three different topics. Now next one is distributive property. This property is very very important. With the help of this property we can save our time. So we have multiplication over addition. What does it mean? This multiplication over addition here will be multiplication sign and inside the bracket there will be plus sign. So multiplication over addition. Similarly this is multiplication over subtraction inside the bracket minus sign is there. Then how to do multiplication over addition. So first we multiply these two that is A into B. Whatever sign is there we write down that sign and then we multiply A multiply by C. This is known as distributive property. Now here also we will multiply A into B. So you will get A into B with sign is there minus. So just put minus sign and then multiply a into c so this is c whenever you are using this property you can observe that after multiplication i have left some place so you also leave some place beside this sign so that it will be easier for you to calculate so this is distributive property now take some examples so additive identity for the whole number is 0 Multiplicative identity for the whole number is 1. Actually, uh, you should pause this video first, complete all the fill up the blanks by your own and then continue so that you can check your answers. So, fill up the blanks and fill up the blanks of whole number hold all the four property. So, we have seen that addition and multiplication. So, addition and multiplication. hold all the four properties do not hold which so subtraction and division subtraction and division of whole numbers do not hold any property the whole numbers which cannot be used as a divisor is 0. We cannot divide a number by 0 for the closure property. The set of whole numbers is closed under addition and multiplication. Addition and multiplication. Same thing this one and this one meaning is same but the way of asking our statement is different. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video and also to watch my next video.